Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a 20 minute HIIT workout on the treadmill, but no worries, if you don't have a treadmill, you can take this workout outside and simply bring your phone with you to listen for my cues. So as the title says, you can burn up to 1,000 calories up to 24 to 48 hours during and after this workout. So within the workout itself, we'll be burning anywhere from 200 to 300 calories, but the real benefit comes in after the workout is said and done because of something called the Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption, or EPOC, which means that during this time period, your body is using extra oxygen to repair all of those muscles used during these all-out sprints which equates to a boosted metabolism and burning up to 70% more calories after your workout. So that being said, this is gonna be hot and sweaty. You're gonna feel that awesome runner's high when we're done. I hope you guys enjoy this workout and make sure to stay tuned to the very end because we have a uh, pretty big special giveaway. <laughs> so you'll wanna stay tuned because there is no better time than the present to be getting fit at home. We're going to do a one minute walking warm up where I will explain the rest of the workout for you and then we're going to get going. So the first thing we're going to do is hit start and we're going to take it up to that walking warm up pace anywhere from three to four miles per hour. Also, I would like for you to hit one on that incline. It's totally optional, but if you really want to feel the burn, trust me, this will do the job. So I'm going to explain what we're going to run through here so you'll understand my cues. First, after this one minute warm up, we're gonna take it up to what's called our base pace. So your base pace is gonna be a conversational running pace, anywhere from five and a half miles per hour and up. So for me, I'm probably gonna start at six miles per hour as my base pace, and when I say push pace, that's gonna be one mile per hour over your base pace, and if I say all out, that's gonna be two to three miles per hour over your base pace. So we've got base, then we've got push, then we've got all out, and we're gonna do a couple of walking recoveries within there so we can get this 20 minute workout done and experience that excess post-exercise oxygen consumption benefit. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Here we go, let's take it up to that base pace. Six miles an hour for me, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're gonna be at this base pace for two minutes. Base pace. it up to three minutes at our push pace. So like I said, that'll be about a mile per hour over your base pace. If you feel like you need more, a mile and a half over, maybe two miles an hour over. Take it up in three, two, one. We're going to be here at this push pace for three minutes.
90 seconds left at this push pace. You can gauge how you're feeling. If you've got it in you, you can take it up. Maybe 0.1 or 2, 0.3 miles an hour. After you do a few of these hit treadmill workouts, you'll really get to get a good idea of what your base, push, and all out paces are like. And of course, the harder you go, the more often you do these, the more that pace is gonna pick up. seconds left here and then we're going to take it back down to a one minute base pace. Ten seconds. Base pace. Three, two, one. We've got one minute here. Really use these 60 seconds here to recover, recover that breath, because we're going to take it up to a one minute all out. So just as a reminder, that all out will be two to three miles per hour above what you are currently running at your base. Thirty seconds. Remember to breathe. Deep inhale in. Push it all out, making room for new oxygen. Up to that all out pace in three, two, one. 60 seconds here. After this all out, we've got a one minute walking recovery, so give it your best. Take it down to walking in three, two, one. My Bowflex just let me know that I just hit 100 calories in calorie burn so far. Really catch your breath here. After this one minute walking recovery, we've got a three minute push pace. Fifteen seconds left. That push pace is just going to be a mile, maybe in a, mi a mile and a half over your base pace. So for me, I'm going to take it from if my base is six miles per hour. Right now, I'm going to take it up to about seven point two. Again, if you're not on a treadmill, you just kind of got to get to know your body and go from there. The more you do this, the more experience you get under your belt, the easier it will become to know what it feels like to run one mile an hour faster, two miles an hour faster, and so on. 
So like I said, we've got about two and a half minutes here left for three minutes total at this push pace. I find that doing these HIIT workouts on the treadmill make the time go so much faster than it does if you were to just get on and go for one steady pace for 20 minutes. Plus, these HIIT workouts are going to burn a lot more calories, especially after the fact. For me personally, I'm not all about the calorie burn, but if you are, if you're wanting to lose weight, this is fantastic. For me personally, I like to do a little bit of cardio and I also like to do a little bit of resistance training so that I can focus on building muscle. Halfway through this, 90 seconds left. Some people lean out a lot easier and some people bulk up a lot easier. So if you're trying to lean out, these HIIT style workouts are definitely going to be for you. Running is definitely one of the best forms of fitness because all you need is you. All you need is your body, no equipment. Whether you're doing it at home on a treadmill, at the gym on a treadmill, or just simply outside. This is all about however hard you are willing to work. You really gotta hold yourself accountable, especially when the going gets tough. 30 seconds left, then we're gonna take it to a two minute base pace run. You've got it in you. Spike that up just a couple more notches. 20 seconds. Bringing it back to that base pace in three, two, one. We've got two minutes here. Then we're gonna go to a one minute all out. So take this time to really focus on your breath. Now we don't have very much left in this workout at all it's gonna go really quick. So if you think you can push yourself a little bit harder, now would definitely be the time. You don't wanna leave any fuel left in the tank. We wanna really feel like we worked hard during this 20 minutes, especially if you don't have a full hour or hour and a half to work out like some people do, especially as a busy parent, you know. Sometimes all we really have the time for is these little 20 minute increments. So you've really got to tackle them. And like I said, hold yourself accountable. Don't be afraid to work. We are all so much more capable of so much more than we even know. I've never finished a workout and thought, I wish I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> so if you're on the fence, just do it. seconds here and then we're gonna take it up to that one minute all out. So that all out should be a full sprint. Ten seconds left. Taking it up to that all out. It's gonna be two to three miles per hour over what your current pace is right now. Again, if you've got it, go for it. If you need a little bit more, add it in. One minute, here we go. Bump it up. 
You got this. seconds then we're gonna walk for one minute three two walk it out 60 seconds We've got one more one minute all out. Then we're gonna take it down. Then we got a 30 second all out. And then we're done. Four seconds here. Three, two, back to that all out. Two to three miles per hour above your base pace. Let's get this. One minute here. We're so close to being done. jog pace. here at this base pace. We're going to take it up to a one minute push, 30 second all out, and we're done. I promise. This is really when you're going to start to realize what you're capable of. Let's take it up to that push pace, about a mile and a half over what you're currently running. If you need two miles per hour more, add it. The final sprint after this is only going to be 30 seconds. So you can push yourself here. 30 seconds left before we take it up to that final all out. I'm feeling it. Get ready, 10 seconds. Here we go, all out, 30 seconds. Fastest all out of the day. This is it. How do you want to feel when you're done? Ten seconds. Good 
three, two, and walk it out. Great job, you guys. We're gonna cool it down here. How'd that feel? Whew, I love that. Oh, there's nothing better than that feeling when you finish a hard run. All right, you guys, catch your breath, stay tuned.